everybody. I am here with Jacqueline Simmons, the senior brand manager for Street Fighter. I actually just got done playing a ton of Street Fighter, um, and there is a lot to talk about, um, so I have quite a few questions. But just to get started, because there are so many new things in Street Fighter VI, was it, were there any challenges bringing classic characters kind of into this new system? And what was that process like, kind of character for character? It felt really fitting with the aesthetics that we're trying to bring in with Street Fighter VI, both with our iconic classic characters, um, you know, with both Chun Li and Ryu that we introduced in the announcement trailer last week. Uh, you may have also recognized Luke from back in Street Fighter V. That was the tail end of our season five pass. Um, and we're also welcoming new characters as well. Uh, we actually have Jamie that we debuted in the announcement and people have gotten to get hands on already on the show floor. And we're getting some really positive sentiment. Player one was an absolute beast in that match. I feel like with fighting games, you know, the, the, the accessibility debate like always comes up, it's always going on. Um, and with Street Fighter VI, you guys have a whole new control scheme uh, modern control scheme is what you're calling it, to uh, kind of assist players that maybe are intimidated by traditional motion inputs. Um, but is there going to be anything else in the game that maybe like teaches them how to use the tools at the right time, right? Because the, there's so much to the drive system. Like, how are you going to acclimate new players to that? With Street Fighter VI, one of the things we really want to drive home is that we want kind of a Street Fighter for All approach. We want people to be able to play of all skill levels, whether you're an aficionado, competitor, or even a first time player. Um, so the modern control schemes are, um, is, is kind of part of that answer element towards that. You may have also noticed as well in the announcement trailer that we actually have three pillars, the World Tour mode, yeah. Battle Hub, that was also introduced because we wanted to clearly define what Street Fighter VI is. Now, within that, we actually have them connect together but also have ways where you implement fighting and fighting elements to help train yourself up into uh, you know, gameplay and build up that confidence. Um, you know, with World Tour mode, while we can't say too many details at this time, we can confirm an, an example, there will be a skills quest kind of element where while you're interacting in the game as your avatar player, you'll actually build up those skills or elements that are towards actual fighting skills, so. The skills that you're teaching the player, um, is that going to be like kind of general fighting game fundamentals or is it going to be character based or is, is there going to be both? At this time we can't speak too much on those details, but we do want to have that goal of getting people more, because as you mentioned, with fighting games, sometimes there's that barrier at first that can seem a bit intimidating for someone that's a first time player who doesn't know all the movesets, that haven't had that kind of long-term, you know, kind of competitive feel with the game. So with Street Fighter VI, it's great to have that, you know, veil lifted, and not only do you get to play and interact with, you know, kind of almost have that evil, uh, even playing field with a classic, you know, uh, with a competitive player, but now you're actually even more interested in playing more, to getting better, to upgrading your skills. Real player wins. one brings it home. Something that was really innovative in Street Fighter V uh, was earning fight money and, and being able to, uh, you know, even purchase brand new characters uh, just by playing the game. Um, is that something that you're interested in bringing back in Street Fighter VI? At this point, monetization or discussion of the monetization um, are being held for, for now, but we will have more details in the future. I really love the drive system and kind of the mind games that go into it. Like, should I do a drive impact here? Uh, or like just just like baiting your opponent with different things, or learning when to parry, uh, and things like that. Trying to get a perfect parry is very exciting. Um, but there are some major changes, and I'm just wondering, like, oh, what was the thought process behind that, right? So, like, there's no chip damage unless you put your opponent in a burnout state. And so I was just kind of curious, like, what the thought process was behind that? Well, for the decision-making process, it's definitely best to hear from the development team. But I will say for this drive system, we wanted to be able to have that balance between um, buffing your character into your style, whether it's more offensive or defensive. So you may have recognized when you got hands-on with the drive system, you have that block, you have parry, you have reversals. And so you get to play your way. And of course, there's that gauge system, right? So. You know, if you perfectly execute a parry, you're going to add more into your gauge. 
Um, but if you rely too much on the system, you can fatigue yourself to which then, as you notice, does uh, accumulate that chip damage uh, when you do, even when you are blocking against another player. So what I love about it is that, again, even for people that are you know, hardcore Street Fighter players, yeah. to even people that are first time players, just got the system and they picked it up really quickly. Yeah. So it's easy to learn, but very hard to master. So I definitely think for some of our fans, especially those that are in the competitive field, are really going to love playing around with that system. Holding on to that quarter and then wrecks them. Any throw will whip at that range. So this is the the first Street Fighter game uh, in a long time to kind of be narratively like at the end of the timeline uh, after after Third Strike, um, and I feel like so much time uh, has passed since that story, and a lot of players maybe aren't familiar uh, with the lore. Is there going to be anything that sort of like? gets them up to speed with the story in the game? We actually recognize that with Street Fighter, at its core essence, we've been, you know, it's been almost 35 years, right? We're actually celebrating the 35th anniversary of Street Fighter, so we know this breadth and depth of the storyline, and so that was actually part of the reason why we did create World Tour Mode. So fans will be able to interact in that Street Fighter universe and learn more about kind of the legacy behind it and what's more to come so you get to engage with this new story while also learning more behind the scenes or backgrounds of the characters themselves. You know, when it comes to Street Fighter, I mean, some of the most iconic characters in the video game industry, um, and I, you know, like, I feel like everyone is someone's favorite, pretty much. Uh, and so when you have such a diverse and beloved set of characters, like, how do you decide Okay, you get to be in six. It is really hard, especially when you've gone through so like a whole franchise. There's so many devote, and it's, it's so hard to choose, right? Because you know everyone has their fan favorites. You know everyone has their selections, their mains, and they're like, oh, they're gonna come into the roster. And so, um, you know, that decision making is definitely tough for you know the development team. Um, but we're quite happy with what we have revealed so far in terms of characters and also how they aesthetically look, uh, especially with the uh, RE engine, proprietary engine that we have. Um, and we definitely look forward to seeing more of those characters. For now, I um, actually can say with the uh, recently revealed characters, uh, one of my favorites to play is Chun-Li as well as Jamie. Um, so I definitely recommend for those who have been able to demo the game to definitely check them out. Our fighters are ready to lay it all on the line. Ready? Round one. Fight. Street Fighter V had such a long life, um, and there were a ton of characters that came out, you know, and people have been playing it for years and years. And I think that's always kind of like, it's, it's like a bittersweet moment when you're moving on to a new game, right? Where it's like, oh man, like, I was so invested in this previous game, and now we're starting over, and that's exciting because there's all this new stuff, but I'm also, you know, leaving a bunch of stuff behind. Um, is there any chance that maybe like players of SF5 would receive like some nod in Street Fighter 6 or anything like that? I think for people that have actually gotten hands on with the games, they're like, wow, there's these little Easter eggs and these little nuances with you know some of the mechanics or intricacies in the fighting elements that they feel like, oh yes, we're, we're so excited that they added this in here. Um, even some of the modes within fighting grounds um, that were available in Street Fighter 5 will be available for, um, you know, fighting grounds for Street Fighter 6, and we have even more to add. So we definitely look forward to seeing their reactions, especially for, you know, upcoming events. Did it? Super X do anything? Breaking on them to lay down the pin, tops off the tank, and scores the win! Online play, net play for fighting games is, is essential, like maybe the most essential thing. Um, is there anything that you can talk about in terms of netcode and, and how it will feel online? Well, at this time, uh, we will have more details on that in the future, but what I can confirm is that uh, platform-wise, we will be available on PlayStation, PC, and Xbox. We're back on the Xbox family, so we're very happy about that. Um, in addition to that, we can confirm there will be roll, uh, rollback and there will be a cross-platform play. So we're very excited to announce that. Doing some quick planning? Peppers them with the lightning kicks. Player two has a chance to win the round if they can put their drive. Send the bar up to court. Ends the round with a sick combo. Amazing.